celebrations on the streets of Tehran. Fergal Gallagher, RTE News. Well, tonight's developments brings Tehran's role in the Middle East conflict and its involvement in Lebanon under renewed focus. Our Europe editor, Tony Connolly, looks now at the evolution of Iran's proxies in the region and how likely a direct conflict between Israel and Tehran might now be. The roots of the matrix involving Israel, Lebanon and Hezbollah go back to the Iranian Islamic Revolution in 1979. The Ayatollah Khomeini believed that for the revolution to survive, it would have to be exported to neighboring states. But that never materialized. Instead, Iran found sympathetic regional militias, which would form what became the axis of resistance against both Israel and the United States. Hezbollah was a small militia which emerged during Israel's invasion of Lebanon in 1982. The Iranian Republican Guard soon turned it into a formidable fighting force which would carry out hijackings and terror attacks locally and across the globe. Its political wing embedded itself deeply into the Lebanese state, delivering schools and social services to its mostly Shia followers. It also received up to a billion euro per year from Tehran and an estimated 150,000 missiles. With Hezbollah in Lebanon, Iran looked elsewhere for proxies to sponsor. In the West Bank and Gaza, Tehran supported Islamic Jihad and Hamas. Following the US invasion of Iraq in 2003, Iran capitalized on the rise of Shia political and terror groups. The Syrian civil war gave Iran another opening. Its sponsor Hezbollah poured in thousands of fighters to prop up the regime of Bashar al-Assad. With the Houthis in Yemen, Iran enjoyed formidable regional and military reach. But with Hezbollah's massive presence in Lebanon, Iran believed it had an insurance policy against Israel attacking its nuclear program. With October 7th, Hamas hoped it could trigger a proxy-led conflagration against Israel. But while Hezbollah fired rockets into northern Israel and Israel responded with airstrikes, it was an incremental escalation, not all-out war. Even when Iran launched over 300 missiles against Israel in April, in retaliation for the bombing of its embassy in Damascus, it still felt like a contained response. Experts believe that neither Israel or Iran want a direct conflict or one involving Iran's proxies. But the killing of Hassan Nasrallah, Hezbollah's leader, as well as over a dozen leading commanders, and now Israel's ground operation, all bets could be off. Tony Connolly, RTE News.